52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Kenny Nwangu now out of his end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Cousins looking to put it up right away. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards that time. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. On second down, it's Cook again. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 31-yard line. Up the middle, it's Cook. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now Cousins. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second and nine, Cousins. Open man, he's got Jefferson across the formation. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Now Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Vikings get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Joseph connects on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so it probably should have opted for the touchback. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Daniil Hunter from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. After the sack on first down, Hurts. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. All right, partner, Deuces Wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 
A good pick up there, 26 yards. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. He was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. The ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worked this all yet that ever admits to worried about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. After one, it's 9-0. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Back to throw now in his own end zone. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense at a close ball game. I think he was trying to just extend the play there, getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find someone open. You're exactly right. He wasn't looking to run. He was looking to throw. The result, not good for him. They were more than happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their off. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Vikings continue to pull away here in this first half. Joseph now to have the PAT. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. Makes the score, Vikings 23, Eagles nothing. Greg Joseph to kick off for Minnesota. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, 
it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Hurd's going to keep it again. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite an excellent display of footwork. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes okay, now a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Yeah. Because I think the team's going to look at my coach. Well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You want some explanations. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They go play action. Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. at a first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Cousins. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. He's at the 50. 30. Pass the 20. 10. 5. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Here's another second and goal, this time from half the distance closer. Again, it's Cousins. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Third and goal for Cousins. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Thielen's got it. 
Touchdown, Vikings. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Joseph connects on the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together. Rishi Enzo, and they make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Hurts. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Eric Kendricks in there to drop him for a loss on the play. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far. Because and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. On first and ten, Cousins. And it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for him. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here we go. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't done the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
taken at the goal line. Oh, and miscommunication on the lateral. The ball's out. This fielded right at the goal line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly a disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Making the stop there, Daniil Hunter. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after it. 33 yards that time. Throwing his hurts. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. So that every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. And now here is another interception. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And the Vikings are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, that is now his fifth interception thrown in this game. And Charles, you've got to tip your cap to this defense. I mean, they have been so impressive reading these passes, stepping in those lanes, and picking them off. Yeah, sometimes the best offense is an excellent defense, and they've done exactly that. What do you think, partner? A season's worth the highlights in just four quarters? I think that's what we're seeing from this group. Second and 10 now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Here's Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. It got his man complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto. He's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. It's a gain of 35. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. But thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 37. They'll look to throw again. 
Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Daniil Hunter picks up his second sack of the afternoon. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Zadarius Smith able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Cousins. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And that is incomplete. But these are the situations that really test the defense, those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. Rolling to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Now Cousins on fourth down. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. Touchdown, Vikings! T.J. Hawkinson, 31 yards. And the Vikings continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Joseph connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind here up go, incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw here. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. They'll drop to throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. 
We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Throwing again on second and 10. Hurts airing it out deep for Smith. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Harris.